Before I go into my little shoot here, I know all you little WWE marks are going to insult me and not my points in this video. Go right ahead. I don't give a fuck. Because none of you can refute what I'm about to say. In fact, I challenge all you little WWE fuckers out there. I challenge you to refute any of the points I make in this video. <clears throat> I just got, got done listening to the latest edition of the Don Tony and Kevin Castle show. And what they like to do that really pisses me off. They'll sit there and they'll, they'll down WWE for like 30 minutes. And every once in a while they'll throw in a little jab and say, See? We're not WWE fanboys. We insult them too. We're not WWE fanboys. We insult them too. And one time, right after saying it, um, Kevin Castle said, um, Well, yeah, WWE's bad, but they're not near as bad as TNA. Oh my god, they could never get that low. And right there's my point. Being a fanboy does not mean you insult what you th that, that you won't insult what you like. For example, he, they're sitting there saying, oh, well, we're not WWE fanboys, we're insulting WWE. A fanboy means nothing else will do. That's the only thing you'll do. For example, if you're a One Direction fanboy or fangirl, that means that's the only group you like. You won't listen to nothing else but that. That's what Don Tony and Kevin Castle are when it comes to wrestling. The only company they'll watch is WWE, not Ring of Honor, not TNA. And maybe they'll watch it, but they'll watch it so they can rip it apart. The only thing that they like is WWE, and that's what a fanboy is. And it makes me fucking sick. You can't... Everybody likes to talk about the Monday Night Wars. And they like to talk about um, how great it was. How great the war was. The war was, How high the ratings were. Yeah, the ratings were fucking phenomenal. No show has that right now. And you want to talk about um, insulting TNA? Well, let me ask you this. How do you expect another war like that to happen? People say, well, it'll never happen in our lifetime. You hear that all the time on any WWE produced show. Because they don't want another Monday Night War. Hell no, that was competition. How many times has Vince admitted, oh, they almost, they almost had us out of business. We were close to the edge there. You'll hear that on almost every show. We were close to the edge there. So they don't want another Monday Night War. The boys would love it because that creates more opportunity for them, more pay. The wrestlers would love another Monday Night War. The fans would love another Monday Night War. But then they're going to sit there and down every other company that's not WWE. TNA pops up. Ooh, they suck. We can't watch them. Jared's promotion's uh, been popping up. Oh, well, they don't even have a channel. Fuck them. You can't expect to have another Monday Night War if you down everything that comes out. That's a fucking fact. What pisses me off the most about these fanboys, though, is they sit there and, yeah, they'll say, okay, well, WWE sucked this week, or the writers suck. No, it is the wrestlers. People are quick to go, oh, we're not going to judge the wrestlers. Well, let's, go, let, let's compare for a second here, Don Phony. And that's what you are from now on, you're Don Phony, because you're a phony. You are a WWE fanboy. I would respect you if you would admit it. If you would say, yes, I'm a fanboy, I'd respect that. But, um, no, let's, let's go through it real quick. The Attitude Era. We had Steve Austin. We had The Rock. We had um, um, Big Show, Mick Foley, The Outlaws, Steve Blackman, Al Snow. All of them had something going on. And even Don Tony admitted this, and I, I'll give him credit for this one thing. If Rock and uh, Stone Cold were injured, they've got other main event guys that could take their spot and be okay and be fine and be a good show. Right now, WWE has shit. WWE has nothing going on. Nothing. They bring The Rock back a few weeks ago, and it was not only the best thing on the show. See, back in the day, you could say, oh, but this was the best part. This was the best part. <laughs> not, only, not only was it the best part, but it was the only good part. The only good part of the show. TNA has been getting better. TNA has been improving. Um, the New York shows were phenomenal. Um, the, a lot of the shows I've seen lately have been phenomenal. Been great. Um, are they going to say that? Hell no. I'll tell you what, that's why I do respect Solo Monster. Because he'll sit there and he'll say good things when TNA does something right. To me, that's what it's all about. You, you, uh, you criticize a product when it sucks, I get that. But you're supposed to praise a product when it's doing good. And before all this network shit with Spike TV happened, TNA was doing good. They were going in the right direction. All their balls, all their pigs were in a line. Everything was going great. uh <clears throat> And uh, Don Tony sits there, and like I said, he'll 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 bash the WWE's creative. Yeah, he'll do that. But then he'll say, "Oh, well, it's not near as bad as TNA." WWE has been worse than TNA lately. Solomon Monster even said so on one of his shows. He said, "Um, 
There was one week where he said TNA saved wrestling that week. TNA was the best, followed by NXT, which NXT is really good, too. I'm not going to say shit about that. But, um, yeah, TNA has been better than the WWE lately. Better. A better product. Better wrestling. I think TNA lacks in the storylines. And see, I don't mind bashing TNA at certain points because I also praise them. That's fair. Don, Tony, and Kevin Castle will bash WWE and praise WWE. They do nothing but bash TNA. Let's be honest. And I would respect you fanboy fuckers more if you admit it. Just say it. I'm a, Just say I'm a fanboy. Come on. Let me hear it. I'm waiting. Say I'm a fanboy. And I'll respect that. I, I won't mind it. Say you only watch WWE. That's the only wrestling you enjoy. Again, I respect that. But sit there and say, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. But fuck TNA. Fuck Jeff Jarrett. Fuck this. Fuck that. But all oh, WWE. Yeah, they're not doing great right now, but they're still our baby. Basically, Don Tony and Kevin Castle treat WWE like that's their son. You know how mothers and fathers have that feeling when they have a kid that no other son or daughter is anywhere near remotely as good as theirs? They all do. All parents do. They'd be like, oh, Billy's cute. Billy's cute. Those other kids are ugly motherfuckers, but our Billy is a cute kid. That's how they act with WWE. Like, they'll uh, sit there and they'll praise WWE and they'll bash WWE, which people will do that. My son's being a little jerk right now. My son's being bad. Oh, but my son's the cutest. That's what they do. Oh, WWE's not doing so good right now. But that's still our company. But fuck TNA. So I'm going to close this video one more time saying one thing. And challenge me. Challenge me on the merit of my argument. Don't challenge me on my shirt. On how big I am. Or how my hair looks. Or that I have a beard. Fuck you. Challenge me on the merits of my argument. You can't. And that's what the fanboys do. They know I'm right. They go, oh, fuck. He's actually pretty fucking right. We can't challenge him. Well, what can we pick apart? You know, what can we pick apart about that video? Well, yeah, well, he's got ratty hair right now, or he's got a, a shirt that I don't like. So that shows, right? right I'm going to read the comments as I post this video on the different groups. And we're going to see exactly who the fanboys are, because the fanboys are going to insult me personally, not my argument. If you can pick apart my argument, go for it. Now, like I said, I have nothing but respect for Solo Monster. That's the show that I like to listen to. Here's what it is. I will stop my day to listen to Solo Monster. If I'm busy doing something and I hear Solo Monster has a podcast up, oh, I gotta go listen to that, Solo Monster. I listen to Don Tony and Kevin Castle when I have nothing else going on in my life. If I am literally sitting there bored, there's nothing to do. I'm not busy. Nothing's going on. Uh, I guess go listen to the most recent Don Tony and Kevin Castle show. But I will stop my day to listen to Solemn Monster. So, uh, yeah, I'm posting this. So let's see what y'all got to say.